Okay, so we left off with uh, being able to sweep on uh, bands two and bands three, uh, but band four is just stuck. And um, you can kind of see there's like a little hint of it here, a tiny little hint of it maybe, but uh, it's definitely dead. So uh, I was able to find the uh, schematics and stuff, so let's take a look at that. Whoa, it's too exposed. Like that's good. So this isn't a great thing on a camera here. You probably can't see it very well, but there's a sweep drive. So these boxes are those cans inside. So there's a sweep drive that goes into a sweep oscillator, a sweep amplifier, and then it goes into a sweep oscillator again. So it's kind of strange. So the sweep drive creates this, the sweep signal. The, the first sweep oscillator, it says band one. So band one is generated here. And then the amplifier is separate. This is an amplifier for, for just band one. Bands two and three are in this box, okay? But the output comes from this box as well. And the band one feeds into band two and three. So band, this oscillator for band two and three must have the switching as well between the three. So if we take a look at the, uh, schematic for this box. Um, well, first of all, let me, let's, let's do some troubleshooting. Let me show you what I did. Um, so like I said, we are, we are not getting anything on band one, okay? So band one is just stationary. So uh, let's go ahead and check the, uh, the oscillator. Uh, let's see here, band one, oscillator is here, okay? And then its amplifier is here, and then this is the 2-3 switch, okay? Now, the, uh, the BNC is a male connector, and these are also male connectors. And if I gently put this in here, I'll have the two males touch one another. And if you look over there, we are getting a nice, big, healthy sweep on band one. So the first oscillator is working fine. So that's good. So let's check to see, it, remember it goes into an amplifier, okay? So that was the output of the oscillator. We'll connect that back. Let me show you what I'm doing here. We'll connect that back. And this is the output of the, of the oscillator. So we will connect, disconnect this. And so all this box is doing is, amp is, is, uh, is, uh, is amplifying it. Now you wonder why, why it's so complicated on band one. Well, well, think about band one. Band one is a very, very wide range, uh, zero to 500 megahertz. Band two is just two to one, and band three is just two to one. But band, uh, band one is many decades, so it, it requires a little bit more work. <laughs> so let's uh, plug this onto the output of uh, the, uh, the amplifier. And yeah, there we go. We are getting a signal. Looks like it's got some harmonics and stuff. That might be because it's not terminated well. I'm just kind of holding the two together. So we'll call the oscillator, uh, the uh, amplifier good for now as well. All right. So let's turn this off. And let's connect to this so I don't forget what I did. All right, so there must be some magic going on in the next box because it doesn't make it out. It doesn't make it out of the next box. All right, so let's take a look at the schematic for that. Uh, get you back down over here. All right, so Let's see, this is the output amplifier that we just looked at. Uh, this is the oscillator that we looked at. And this is the last thing that we looked at. So, um, all right, so. We have, we have this section here, there's a bunch of L's and C's and stuff and uh, some v v varistors, am I saying that right? Var 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 variable diode capacitors, varactors. Um, and um, so that is the sweep oscillator there. There's also another one down here. So this is the band two sweep, and this is the band three sweep. 
And so they're all headed this direction. And uh, the band one uh, comes in here. So you've got one here, two here, and three here. So there must be some kind of switching. So there's these diodes. So I had a video, see if I can remember, I'll put it down below on diode switching. And so it's using diode switching to enable bands two and three. And that's done down here. If these transistors are on, you enable band two. That transistor is on, you enable band three. And if these are both off, I guess, then the uh, band, band C comes through. Um, so that's kind of a weird, a little bit weird way of doing. I guess when you, when you bias these correctly, it unbiases this one. So anyway, the, the whole point of this is, I believe CR9 is probably bad, right? If this is switching incorrectly, and this is switching incorrectly, and this is not switching, then probably, probably CR9 is bad. Um, and then the output is right here. So these all mix together on a single wire, and then they go into this, uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of matching uh, inductors and a uh, uh, a diode here that that monitors it. There's a monitor here, so you can uh, level it. So so there's a detection diode here, and it comes out onto uh, some place where you can monitor the output and and and, and level level the loop. Uh, then RF output spans one, two, and three is is right there. So I think what we need to do is we need to open up. Uh, the M19 unit and check uh, CR9 and see what's going on with him. All right, here's the, uh, I guess you call it the motherboard sort of thing, <laughs> all the wiring from these things. Um, and this particular unit is held in with this screw that I just dropped. And this screw. And then there, these are all sockets. These little white things here are all sockets. And these are little uh, plungers that hold it in. Yeah, that one moved. And if I can get this guy to move. Yeah, he moved too. All right. Oh, reach inside here. Let's see if I can't. Levering him out. There it goes on that side. Oh man, they're hard to grab because they're kind of like airstream. Uh... <laughs> oh, there we go. So there's our unit. It's uh, it looks like it's hermetically sealed, although I don't think it is. But it's got some nice feed through uh, capacitors. So yeah, very nice. Got some of these initials on it too. Whoever tested it. Now, is it soldered shut or will it open up? Oh dear. Oh dear, is it soldered shut? Uh, might be. Might. It might be, although it might not be. So let's take, let's take these off. Maybe these are just, uh, Maybe these are just screws and that's what holds it in. Uh-oh. I don't think so. I think those are... Those are not. Hmm. All right. Oh, watch me do some destruction here. not soldered. That's good. Hmm. Hmm. Not quite sure how you would Oh, here we go. How oh, you would take this apart? Well, it's moving. It's moving. Oh, maybe I need to take these connectors off. Maybe that's all there is to it. Maybe I'm being dumb. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh, 
Oh, come on, there we go. How many were yelling at the camera? You gotta take the connectors off. You gotta take the connectors off. All right. Now I can just, there we go. Comes right out. Look at that. Look at that. Beauty. Oh, wow. Look at this. Talk about shielding, right? I mean, these guys did it right. I can put my, uh, I can put this back on. That wasn't, that wasn't, uh, Yeah, let me uh, zoom down on this. How's that? Look at that. Very nice. Very, very nice. And some goodness under the cans here. These are soldered down. So I don't know if I need to get it. I think this is probably like oscillator two, oscillator three. Diode switching probably is on the outside. Let's see, the output is uh, this one. And there's the little monitor diode. And he goes over there. Ah, there's a switch there. All right, so let's see mm, the C channel is the one, yeah, the C channel is the one that comes in, that's channel uh, band one, comes in uh, this, can, no, let's see here. C, C is this connector, so, ah, there we go, it's, it's this diode right here. Let me get something point one. So CR, what do I what did I call it? CR9? CR9 is that guy right there. That guy right there. Because this is where it comes in and that's where it goes out and it's not making it there. So I assume that guy might be dead. We could do a diode test on him. Sure, why not? Let's see here. Do a diode test. There's the diodes. Hmm, 0.7. That looks good. And in this direction, nothing. So maybe the diode's good, but it's not getting biased right. Yep. All right, so biasing must be wrong. I claim the diode is good. Famous last words, right? All right. Oh, there we go. Look at the bottom. Let's see the bottom. So <laughs> glued on a, now they're, they're bolted down. Little adjustments. Those adjustments are, uh, those adjustments are on the schematic. Those are, What would those adjustments be? <laughs> well, I don't see them right away. Oh, there we here they are. Uh, center of band two and center of band three. That's what those guys do. So they they move the center of the bands and then the uh, uh, varactor goes the rest of the way. There's a little L adjustment there. Yeah, everything is on nylon, or probably Teflon standoffs. I love this construction. <laughs> That's great. All right, well, let's see if we can't figure out if the, maybe one of the bias transistors is not working or one of the other diodes is not working. Oh man. Mm. This might be tricky. This might be, might be tricky. 
Q16 and Q15. Hmm. And I don't have the entire. I don't have. I only have the schematics. I don't have the layout. Maybe that's in the uh, documentation as well. So. I do see one more diode here. So it's coming out of this can. Hmm. Yeah. Well, these lids might have to come off and we're going to have to figure out which of these transistors does the uh, does the switching. Seems like they both switch okay because we have bands two and three working, but but you never know. I have to think about this one. That's kind of bodged on there. That's kind of how you do. All right. All right. Well, I've got to think about it. <laughs>